I got my war pants on. I'm good to go. This is the first vlog of 2017. So, Happy New Year! I've had two coffees today because it was just one of those days. We are on the way to the airport right now um, to drop off my aunt. She was down for a little bit and today she is leaving. So, let's get into this vlog, shall we? Now you know when I'm ready for war. I have my war pants on. So, why am I ready for war? Let me tell you what I have been up to for the last few, uh, couple weeks. Then you will understand. First thing, um, my aunt from England came down and was basically driving everybody fucking crazy, okay? So um, I decided I would take her into my home. And when she was here, she didn't give me nothing but lip. But it was in my house. Now, because she's my aunt and she's elderly, I held my tongue for just a little bit. So I didn't snap on her. I just kindly said what I needed to say in a calming voice. So, family members would come over to my house, okay, and basically hide away, and I found it kind of comical. So, the next thing, after uh, we came back, everybody was much more relaxed and everything and whatever so that's just one thing next thing that I dealt with was I was injured I got injured like a couple days ago and I wasn't really in the mood to do anything especially like vlog and whatnot so I was just like you know what fuck it um so, that was another thing. Um, what's the next thing? I've been hearing some things, and I wasn't too happy about it. So, I, like, my friends told me some information. I'm not going to reveal what it is, because I don't want to get back in my feelings, but Truthfully, I'm still a little bit in my feelings about it, but let's just say I confronted somebody and they didn't like what I had to say because usually when I'm upset, I go onto Twitter and basically vent. So most of you might have seen the tweets that I've written and some of the clapbacks. Now, best believe, I do not, I got hair right here, okay. Best believe, I do not hold my tongue when it comes to uh, people insulting people that I care about. I don't, I don't do that, no. Because, and I know, I already know, um, that some of this, this video might get a thumbs down because some of those bitches might be 
watching this video as we speak. So, let me say this to those bitches. You can keep your two cents to yourself because you do look broke. Okay? I want to get into something real quick. And what I want to talk about is a lot of people know this about me. Um, because of my old channel, people think they know me. Now, I only let people know certain things about me. Because of my old channel, people think, because my name was Sunbeams Niagara, um, they think, oh, she lives in Niagara Falls or whatever. But honestly, let me break it down for you. I could have put any region in that name. Doesn't mean I live there. I live in Canada. For all you know, I could be in Vancouver. Vancouver is a part of Canada. I could be in Nova Scotia. That's a part of Canada, too. I could be anywhere. So, don't get it twisted. Because my name was Sunbeam Niagara, doesn't mean I live in the Niagara region. Okay? Let me clarify that. Let me clarify this. Because my name was Sunbeams Niagara on the old channel, doesn't mean I lived in Niagara Falls. Where I lived, or where I do live, is nobody's business. Okay? Um, do you, like, people would message me. Like, some of my diamonds and my beams would message me asking me certain questions, and that's fine. I don't care if you message me or whatever. But, don't get it twisted because of my past. My past is, no, is not my present. Who I am is who I am. I've, obviously, I've made some mistakes. Obviously, I've done some things in my past that I'm not proud of, but honestly, it just, it helped me grow, grow, right? I've done a lot of things. I've been, like, like I said in the past, I am that ride or die chick that will be there for my friends. I've done some things in my past that I'm not proud of. Um, most of you know part of the story, you don't know the full story. And I intend to keep it that way. I have gone to visit people in places that I shouldn't have, because had I known then what I know now, and if I could talk to my younger self and say, don't do that, don't be that girl, doesn't mean anything. I'm still a strong, independent woman who loves my life. I love my friends, I love my family, I love the people that I trust, and most of y'all already seen that, that when I tweeted it, because people that I do trust is people that know me. People who don't know me and assume that they do will get it twisted. And... They assume certain shit that ain't even right. So, before you judge somebody on their past, read the full book first so you know the full story. And if my life was a movie, it would be an Academy Award winner, I could tell you that because of all the bullshit that I have been through. But I am grateful for it because it helped me become who I am today. So that's what I wanted to say. Anyways, um, Diamonds and Beams, if you enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And 
I will see you guys very soon. And kiss from the missus. And don't forget to keep shining bright like the diamonds and the beams that you are. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.